Dragon Ball, the most popular anime of all time, is said to be getting a DLC character for every DLC season of Jump Force along with the next two biggest animes, Naruto and One Piece. The Jump Force roster currently has seven confirmed characters for the game, including Majin Buu who will be joining this month. But the question is, who will be the next characters to join? But the question is, who will be the next characters to join? The question came up in my head, so I put together a list for the next 5 best choices for DLC. If this is the first time you've been aroused by my voice, make sure to press that subscribe button because I'll keep you in the know about everything going on with Jump Force and other anime news. And if you want to be the first to know when news pops up, then just use your trigger finger to finger that bell icon. Alright, now to start the list. Hurry and eat one of those sensu beans. Alright, at number 5 we have Android 17. 17 was popular during the Android and Cell arc of Dragon Ball Z, but has gained much popularity in the past 2 years due to the final arc of Dragon Ball Super. He is the most powerful of the androids, even being able to fight Goku with God Key, which was really weird for power scalers, but hey, it happened. In the manga, he fought Goku at Super Saiyan 3 level. I'm sure his fighting style will be similar to that in Dragon Ball Fighters, since his fighting style in that game was ripped straight out of the anime. If the developers really want to be accurate to the character, they could give him an infinite stamina meter since androids never run out of stamina. But I doubt that'll happen. At number 6, we have- wait, I'm supposed to be counting down. Damn it, I always do that. At number 4, we have Master Roshi. This is the man who raised Goku after his grandfather died and trained Goku and Krillin under the turtle hermit ways of martial arts. Master Roshi's awakening would obviously be his super muscle form. He is a character who could fight barehanded or with his staff wood stick thing that I don't remember what it's called. But he's also a pervert, so that might affect how he fights female characters in the game. For number 3, we have someone you probably didn't guess. For number 3, we have someone you probably didn't guess, but that I thought would be a really cool character, and that's Bardock. Bardock is the father of Goku. He was in the Saiyan army and therefore the Frieza force, but was the one to end up rebelling against Frieza and ultimately die at the hands of Frieza in that rebellion and in Dragon Ball Minus was revealed to have been the one to send Goku to Earth. I'm not sure if Bardock would turn Super Saiyan for an awakening since the manga he turned Super Saiyan in was published under V-Jump, not Shonen Jump, and is not canon anymore. But the developers have made exceptions for transformations before like Goku and Vegeta turning Super Saiyan Blue, so there is a chance. And when it comes to what armor Bardock would wear, I would hope for the original armor from the Dragon Ball Z manga. But, we would probably get the armor from the Dragon Ball Minus manga since that is a newer Shonen Jump manga which had its design used for the latest Broly movie. For the number 2 spot, we've got Gotenks. Gotenks is the fusion between Goten and Trunks. Not the Trunks we have in the game, but the kid version from the main timeline if you didn't know that. Gotenks has many unique moves like Boo Boo Volleyball Attack, Galactic Donut, and a bunch of moves that are just funny and really don't make any sense. But Gotenks would add on to the number of young characters and bring our avatars that awesome fusion jacket we so desperately need. Okay, now for the number one character on the list, and that's Gohan. Specifically Teen Gohan from the Cell arc. I honestly don't know how there are 7 Dragon Ball characters already made for the game and none of them are Gohan. If you go through the top 5 most popular characters in Dragon Ball, Gohan is always on the list. Cell even made it into the game and Gohan did it. It honestly feels very weird to see Cell without Gohan. Now I know there's a lot of people who like to argue against Gohan, but I literally made a whole video debunking all the arguments against him, so if you want to argue against him, then just watch that video. Gohan could have two awakenings just like Goku and Vegeta. Those awakenings could be Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2. I'm not sure if they'd make his ultimate attack the father-son Kamehameha, but it sure would be awesome. Alright, now that we've finished the top 5, I'd just like to say yeah I know there are a lot of people hoping for characters like Broly or Cooler or Beerus, which would probably be awesome to see, but this game only includes characters from Shonen Jump mangas. So movie only characters won't be in, and characters created in the Dragon Ball Super manga are V-Jump characters, so they won't be in either. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and let me know what characters you'd like to see in Jump Force. My name's Konjic, and I'll talk to you in the next video. I'm going to cut you down in order to end
end the path I've walked so far. I won't give up on you! In order to keep my path connected! Neither of us has much power left. Yes. This is... <laughs>